Hi, everybody. It's Allison Williams here, your law firm mentor. Law Firm Mentor is a business coaching service for solo and small law firm attorneys. We help you to grow your revenues, crush chaos in business, and make more money. So today I want to read a quote to you, and I want you to seriously contemplate it. The quote is, the degree to which a person can grow is directly proportional to the amount of truth he can accept about himself without running away. And this is a quote by Leland Val Vanderwall. So a lot of times people will ask me, what is it that makes one person successful in business when another person who employs seemingly the same strategies, the same approach, hires the same type of people in the right way, compensates them similarly, adopts the same management approach, might be less successful. And the real answer to that does not lie in the strategy or the hiring process or the compensation models. It lies in who the individual is being when they are executing all of those strategies. And so when you think about the idea of the amount of truth that one can accept about themselves, I'm not talking about criticism. I'm talking about the internal self-reflection that we all have to go through that will allow us to see our patterns and the way that we are approaching our business and our life in business. And many times what tends to happen is when we start down a path and we encounter a new activity, we're all gung-ho, we're excited about it, we decide we're going to embrace this new change. The problem is that our conscious mind is pursuing a change that our subconscious mind may not necessarily accept. So we all know that there is a such thing as a subconscious mind. This is our precognitive state. This is what was there for us and our ability to function before we had the ability to have conscious thought. So that means somewhere between the ages of five and seven, we still had the ability to function as human beings before we could actually reason and logically evaluate what was coming into our world. And we had no ability to accept or reject the information that was being poured into us. So that information at some point in time formed our pattern, the way that we see the world, the way that we function. And that came from our parents and our caregivers and whoever else was spending a lot of time with us when we were at that young age. And so we developed a way of thinking about the world and living in the world and the way of being in the world that oftentimes does not enter into our conscious thought. It is simply operating under the surface, if you will. So those patterns of behavior that we start to encounter when we're in business are guided by both our conscious thought, but to a much greater degree, our subconscious thinking and our subconscious patterns. And so when we start to do something new, our subconscious mind, which was there to protect us, tells us, oh my God, this is not familiar. This is dangerous. This is um, something that we should not be doing. We should go back to the way that we were doing things before. And if you are not aware of what your subconscious programming is, then when you start to do something new and you encounter that resistance that builds up inside of you, you're going to logically think that there are reasons why you should adopt the previous way of doing things, whereas it really was your subconscious programming that was educating you that you should be turning back because your subconscious mind does not like new things. So you have to understand your subconscious programming in order to see the truth in who you are and how you are being in business to be able to overcome the way that you are showing up in business to accomplish the new changes that you want to employ. Now, this is not a easy process. It is something that takes a lot of strategic planning and thought. And that is often why people will seek out the assistance of a business coach, even though they believe the reasons why they're seeking a business coach is to learn all those strategies and tactics that frankly, you can Google and find the answers to. So I'm Allison Williams, your law firm mentor. And if you want to learn more about how to overcome yourself in business so that you can accomplish the change that you desire, I want you to reach out to me. I'm going to put my link in the comments to this video. Again, Allison Williams, your law firm mentor. Have a great day.